Hi everyone, Chris Faust again. In this lesson we're going to be talking about bulk barcode uploading. Uh, so when we want to upload bulk codes and bulk data, we're first going to go over to our 2D barcode section. And this is, we're on our home page here. We're going to click on bulk barcodes. As you can see we have different options. We have bulk campaigns. So we can either select a specific group to put these in, and as you remember from our group tutorial, we know how to categorize four groups. So if you wanted to create a QR code and there were 10 to 20 to 30 of them, you wanted to do it one time instead of individually and put them into a group, you can do that. And we do that through um, a CSV file that you can have with Microsoft Excel and you can always see an example of each one of these to see how you could use it but we have our options campaigns which are our regular QR code campaigns that we do we have V cards our calendars and our personal URLs now the P URLs are going to be what you put here is going to be your domain and then whatever the extension is for your domain uh, we're going to create QR codes for that right now we can just uh, look at bulk campaigns so if you want to create a QR code for your uh, bulk campaign you just click to see an example and we're going to open it with Microsoft Excel and you're going to see as this pulls up it's just downloading here we've got the type so it's just an Excel spreadsheet uh, the title the URL the media that's being used, whether it's a newspaper, a flyer, a, a TV commercial, the size, the color, the uh, expiration date, Microsoft tag decoration, that's only if this type is uh, MS tag, and then the geolocation. And the geolocation is just going to be yes or no, meaning are we going to ask for uh, location when it's when the QR code is scanned. So as you can see, like if you were a car dealer or if you had a uh, store or a large corporation and you wanted to put in, uh, you know, 30 plus, um, you know, people with their titles, with different media outlets, with different URLs going to different places, you wanted them to expire at different times, you could add all this information in at once, save your file, I'm going to drag this down so you can see it here, save your file, this is the example file, and then once you save it, once you save that, then you're going to find it here, browse your computer, and then upload it. And that's it. And then you're ready to go. So you want to select your group first. If you don't have a group selected, these are going to default outside of the groups. These are just going to go in your basic uh, QR code homepage. And they're not going to be categorized by group. But if you want to put them in group like we did with our group tutorial, you can do that and set that up. And now V cards are going to be a little bit different. V cards are uh, once the QR code is scanned, the contact information that you put into the Excel spreadsheet is going to be uploaded to the phone uh, on the address side. The calendar is going to create different events. So if you have events throughout the year and you want to create these QR codes individually for it, you can do that as well too. Or the personal URL. So you're going to create a URL and then the extension from that is what you're going to uh, upload into the Excel spreadsheet and that's how you create bulk barcodes. If you have any other questions or want to see any more videos, go to qrpath.com tutorials. Thanks.